about we talk about some gray tank tips? I think we should. Okay. Because as a matter of fact, your gray tank without the proper management mm -hmm. can actually get a little stinky. A little grody. Yeah. So, and when we're talking about that, we also want to make sure that you're aware that great water is not for just letting go anywhere. Some people have that misconception. Oh, well, it's just the water that I wash the dishes with, but it has chemicals in it. It's mm -hmm. very stinky, and that's not an acceptable thing to do is just pull your gray tank anywhere. It needs to go in the proper place. Yeah, so we want to talk about how we treat the gray tank and some things we do to keep that tank clean, but then we also want to talk about things to put in the sink and dishes and things like that. Yeah. So the treatment. Now, you saw in this, in this course, there's a lesson on black tank, and we talked about the happy camper uh, treatment. Mm -hmm. I use that same treatment for the gray tank too, which is why I like it because it kind of doubles up. Mm -hmm. But there are specific gray tank treatment that like smell like yam lemons and oranges. Mm -hmm. It's almost nice. like a little Alka-Seltzer thing that kind of like fizzes up. Yeah. I haven't had huge luck with those types of things, but well, I just like the two for one because in a smaller rig, mm -hmm. I want whatever I bring in the rig to have multi-purpose. Yeah. You can't just come in here and only do one thing. Yeah. <laughs> you have to work on both sets. Yeah. So, and just like the black tank with your gray tank, water is your friend, yes. right? But you want to be careful what you put down in there because if you were to like, let's just say hypothetically, you had kids. And let's just say your kids like to make bacon at 11 o'clock at night after you were asleep. And then just hypothetically, let's just say they thought that it was okay to put down that grease in your gray tank, you would end up with a clog yes. in your gray tank pipes. <laughs> so you're already going to notice that you don't have a garbage disposal. So you're mm -hmm. really just working with whatever is preventing anything from going down. So first, getting something that you really like that catches. So um, like a strainer, like a little strainer. It mm -hmm. comes with a little strainer, but sometimes getting one that's a little bit better is kind of nice. One that's silicone, you can pull it out and you can get it. Mm -hmm. You can get it in the trash. You can yeah. kind of like fold it yeah, outside sure. of itself. So, um, so that, and then if there's any grease from your cooking, I always like to put it inside of a jar or a cup mm -hmm. and then put it in the trash because if you just, you know, if you pour your bacon grease in your garbage can, you're going to make a hole in your yeah. trash bag and yeah. then drip it everywhere. Yeah. So, um, so anyway, be careful what you put down there. I like to use like Mrs. Meyers, some soft soaps mm -hmm. that work on the dishes, but aren't harmful to the tanks. And Trish likes to use scolding hot water. And one thing that RVs are good for is incredibly hot water. Yeah, well, I don't have a dishwasher, so mm -hmm. I really want to make sure I get my dishes clean. So I always have gloves yep. so that I can pump out that hot water, mm -hmm. use the soap, and then discard the extra little tidbits that are at the bottom of the sink. But that scolding hot water is also good for the black tank pipes to yes. keep it all clean. And so that way you're just going to keep things flowing and everything's going to be good. Yeah. All right, so that's it. Not a huge lesson when it comes to gray tank management, but it is important to consider. Make mm -hmm. sure you have the right products and the right practices to keep that tank from not turning into something that could actually smell worse than your black tank. Yes. All right. Okay, on to the next level.